Where are my Fortnite players at? Are you ready to earn some money? In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to earn crypto and play Fortnite at the exact same time. Good job, clean them up. What is going on crypto miners and my fellow video gamers? In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can earn the Neoxa cryptocurrency while playing your favorite game of Fortnite. So Neoxa is a play to earn blockchain. It's a cryptocurrency that you get rewarded for playing games. And for our case today, it's Fortnite. And in Fortnite, all you have to do is play ranked Fortnite games and bam, you'll earn yourself Neoxa. Neoxa is a well-known cryptocurrency in the video game space. It's already been integrated with famous games like Grand Theft Auto, Dota 2, and Rust. And just a few weeks ago, the team from Neoxa went ahead and announced that they will be integrating with Fortnite. Well, it's here. And today, you can earn Neoxa right now by just playing Fortnite. All right, before we jump into Fortnite, we need two things. The first thing is we have to create an account over on neoxa.net. And second, we have to go ahead and create our wallet for Neoxa, which is pretty much like a bank account for all that Neoxa that we earn from Fortnite. So let's get started. First, let's go over to neoxa.net. Once you're there, click on games in the upper right hand corner and go down to gaming portal. Once the gaming portal loads at the very bottom, it says no account, sign up here, click there, fill out the information, and I'll see you back here in a second. So you should be at the dashboard now. If you created your account, you went ahead and verified your email and also your age, you're gonna see exactly what I see right now, except your gamer wallet linked will have a different number. All right, so our next step is to connect Fortnite with this Neoxa dashboard. And to do that, it's actually pretty simple. Let me show you. So on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on games, and then we're gonna go down to Fortnite. Once this loads up, it's gonna ask you if you agree. And you can see here, it says by clicking on this, you agree to change your in-game name temporarily. It's actually just for one game. So we're gonna click on, I agree. And right here, it's going to give us three steps. First step, you now need to visit Epic Games account by signing in here. Then step two, you need to edit your display name to include your unique identifier. For me, it's 6EDFB7. For you, it's gonna be something entirely different. And then underneath it says, submit your Epic display name below after you've edited it in your unique code. And what this does, if you're curious, doesn't hack your game or anything crazy like that. All this does is allow the Neoxa game to know who it's connecting with in Fortnite. You do it for one game, and you're done. So I'm signed into Epic Games. Now I need to go ahead and I'm gonna take this unique number and I'm gonna right click and copy it. And now I'm going to go over to my Epic Games account settings and there is an edit button right here next to your display name. Hit edit. And now it's gonna ask you what you want your new display name to be. And we're gonna change my name to hobbyist and then I'm gonna paste in that code. Now. Keep in mind, you can only make your name so long, so make sure you don't cut off your code. Let's go back over in the Oxa portal, and it says submit your Epic account display name below. So I'm literally just gonna type in what I made it, and I'm going to paste my code at the very end, just hobbyist and my code, and I'm gonna hit submit. All right, awesome. So, Fortnite settings, we are like right there. Here you can configure your profile to link your wallet with your game you're playing. So as we talked about, a crypto wallet is like a bank account. And so all we're doing is we're going to, sounds weird, we're going to download our bank account, which is a Neoxa wallet onto our computer. It's really simple. Check this out. All right, so we're back over here on neoxa.net and right in the middle of the page, download wallet. Click there and it's going to download your Neoxa wallet. Once it's downloaded, just launch it and I'll check you over there. All right, so in your downloads folder, the Neoxa QT wallet is gonna go ahead and download. We're gonna right click on it and we're gonna go to extract. It's gonna go ahead and make a folder right here. Now, this is a folder that you don't wanna lose. So if you need to move this folder into a secure location, something that you may have backed up or that you know you're not gonna accidentally delete. Go ahead and open this up and it has Neoxa-QT. This is your bank account right here. So we're going to go ahead and double click and open it up. If you get a warning about protecting your PC, this is normal. Go ahead and click more info and run anyways. 
Next, you're going to be given prompts as to where to install things. For this video, I'm just going to leave everything by the default. We're going to click OK. Next, you're going to have a window pop up. And this is if you were importing a wallet or a bank account that you already had. But since you don't have a bank account yet, just go ahead and click the Generate button at the bottom. It's going to give you a uh, recovery phrase. Write this down in a secure location because let's say your computer gets nuked or uh, deleted or something crazy happens. If you have these words, you could come in here and do import and you can recover everything in that bank account of yours. So make sure you store it somewhere secure. Once you're done, you can create a recovery passphrase down here at the bottom if you're interested. Other than that, go ahead and hit enter. All right, so we're gonna get a pop-up here about encrypting our wallet for backups. If that's something you're interested, you can look into further. We're gonna click OK. All right, now it's going ahead and syncing our wallet. So our think about like updating our bank account to get it the most up-to-date with any transactions we may have. So it's gonna take a while, as you can see at the bottom. You don't need to wait, we can just minimize it. But what we're first gonna do is hit hide at the bottom. Now what we need is we need our Nyaxa wallet. And as I said before, we're comparing this to a bank account. So it's like our bank account number. So in here, click on receive on the left-hand side and right in the middle, it says request payment. Click on request payment. And do you see where it says address at the bottom? Select that, right click on it and go to copy. This is now your Nyaxa wallet address. So we're gonna jump back over to our Nyaxa uh, gaming portal that we had open and look, it wants our wallet address. So let's click there, right click and do paste. And now we're gonna click save. All right, so what's next? Well, click on player stats on the left-hand side and go down to Fortnite. And you're gonna notice that it says there's no database records yet. Well, that's because we've been busy hanging out and you haven't had a chance to play any Fortnite games. So go ahead and play some games. And if you take a look at the top, it tells you that this page updates every three hours. So play some games not three hours worth, but play some games and check back here in the near future. Now, wait 24 hours after you've played games and check this screen because you get paid out every 24 hours with your Neoxa. And so after 24 hours, you should not only see stats in here, but in your wallet, you should start to see some Neoxa. Now, quick heads up, this screen right here is your wallet and it's syncing right now. Let it run, it could take several hours, but you won't see anything in your wallet until this is entirely synced. So let this run overnight, let it sync. You can see how long it's gonna take. The time at the bottom is slowly gonna tick down more and more. Once this goes away and is completely synced and you've played a few Fortnite games and it's been 24 hours, when you come into your wallet and you click the overview tab in the left-hand corner where it says available Neoxa, that's gonna show your Neoxa that you've earned by playing Fortnite. On the bottom right hand side where it says recent transactions, that's where you're gonna see every time the Neoxa platform went ahead and paid you for playing Fortnite. All right, so let's jump into Fortnite and earn ourselves some Neoxa. All right, pick where we're going, let's go. Is that what this is here? All right, wish me luck. Right here, right here, right here. I'm getting high ground. Do you see him? I don't see him. They're down here, so they're right below us. Oh, they're below us. They're right below us. They're below us, right here. Right here, right below us. Good job, clean them up. The one guy's got a partner, get ready. All right, careful. I think there's people here. I hear people. I hear ah, come on! Oh man, are you kidding me? 
Up here too, they're both lit. Oh, they just finished me off, dang it. All right, crypto miners and video gamers, if you guys enjoyed today's video tutorial and you wanna be notified when I drop my next video, go ahead and click subscribe and don't forget to click that bell. Happy gaming. Today's video is sponsored by the team over at asicmarketplace.com. With crypto mining hardware prices dropping, it's critical to find an online store you can trust with your ASIC purchases. The team at asicmarketplace.com has you covered with some of the most competitive pricing on the market. No matter what brand you're looking for, ASIC Marketplace has it. To name just a few, Bitmain, Goldshell, What's Miner, IB Link, iPolo, Jazz Miner, and many more. There are no surprises with ASIC Marketplace. The price listed on their website includes shipping. Imagine that. Finally, ASIC Marketplace takes the buying experience to the next level by accepting cryptocurrency as payment directly on their store. Go check out ASIC Marketplace today via the link in this video's description down below, as well as save $110 at checkout with discount code, the Hobbyist Miner.